Hey everybody, it's Jazzy Henry and today I want to do a video on trends that I wish would die in 2017, but I feel like die is a very harsh word, so more like trends that I just dislike, not fond of, blah 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 blah. So hang out with me and I'm going to get into it. The first trend I hope that pieces out in 2017 is not Kylie Cosmetics itself, but the Kylie hype could definitely die down a little or go or whatever. I think that them selling out at Records Bees in the beginning may have been true, but it's like now they know what kind of numbers that they're pulling in and the number of sales that they're making and you're telling me that they're still not prepared for it like they I, I think it's a huge marketing ploy basically right now I think that they realized a good way to build hype and they're running with it and it works you know what I mean I feel like they have a certain amount that they will sell and then they say they're sold out and it's simply to create hype for the next restock and meanwhile all of like YouTube and different media outlets are hyping it up even more and everyone's going crazy and they're all excited and they're waiting for like that 6 p.m. time when like the website that gets shut down for an hour every time beforehand magically comes up again and they can like quick order their banana highlighter. And there's so much hype. Don't get me wrong, I do own like my fair share of Kylie products. I do own like an eyeshadow palette, an eyeliner kit, and I own quite a bunch of her liquid lipsticks, which I love the liquid lipsticks. I just don't necessarily think that that brand is worth the hype. I don't think it's like amazing and it's like the end all be all of cosmetics. Not that anyone's claiming it is, but that's how people are acting. So let's talk massively overline lips. <laughs> um, I think a little bit is okay if you want to do that but when your lip line ends here and your lips are clearly drawn up to here I just don't understand like the mindset of that person like do they think that other people can't tell I don't understand when I see pictures on Instagram I know that <laughs> there have to be other people that are thinking like I see I see See where her lip line is and I see that her upper lip is like half drawn on you know it's going up there it's like three centimeters past the line or whatever so I don't understand it and I would personally feel uncomfortable doing that and then going about like my daily life I think you should just you know if you don't want lip injections if you don't want to spend your money on that that is like totally fine, but just like rock what the good Lord gave you. If your lips are w however big, rock it. Just like go with it, you know? And if you want to draw them over a little bit, that's fine. But like when literally half your lip is simply liquid lipstick, I just like, I don't wrap my head around it. I don't get it. Another trend that I think should die in or go away in 2017 is shorts that ride up your hoo-ha and i feel like it happens a lot when i see people wearing high-waisted shorts it is just like jammed up there in between their labia and it looks so painful and i don't understand like how they aren't like digging it out all day long all day long i don't get it i can't wrap my head around it i love jean shorts i mean i wear jean shorts all the time that's my go-to in the summer but I don't know what pair of jean shorts is worth that. And just like jean shoved up your precious hoo-ha, chafing it is, is like all I think about when I see them. I'm just like, oh, like, why? When I see a vagina in crisis, what did your vagina do to you that you want to hurt it? You know, like that. I just don't get it. That was some um, trends that I hope go peacefully in 2017. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can feel free to do that. If you don't, that's okay too. I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you for watching. So my first thing, ugh, my backdrop. Blah!